Hello, everybody. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't written a journal yet. I've just been, it's just been really grueling. <laughs> That's the only word I can use, it's been grueling. I've had to give warnings uh, to different ministers that have been refused. And then I realized that I had sent them each one, except for one who I believe isn't included in the group, although he's in the same ministry. I did not receive a dream or vision about him, but everybody else. And I'd sent them all at an earlier time. And uh, that is a literal judgment because they refused the warning. It has been tough, and uh, I've only been sleeping like a couple hours at a time, it seems. Like, I woke up at 11.51 for the second time this, I think this week I've woken up before midnight. I stayed up all night. Anyway, so you could pray for me if you want. <laughs> you know, the first time I ever saw Jesus Christ, I worked at a place doing massages, and I was a massage therapist for 18 years. Anyway, uh, Anyway, so the first time I saw him, I had an appointment come in that when I went to get her, it wasn't the person on my appointment. You know, it wasn't her, it was somebody else. So she said that she was going through a divorce. She didn't know how she could take, you know, another day it's just been so hard and uh, so I went let her get on the table and then I came in and I sat on the bed and not on the bed on the chair I sat on the chair and I always start at the neck and I hold their head in my hands like this and I, and then I pray for them I, I did that for 18 years I, anyway so I was just holding her neck and, you know, doing some massage on her neck and just real, just holding her basically and praying for her because I just felt this prophetic utterance coming, you know. I didn't say anything yet. But then all of a sudden, this is the first time I saw Jesus Christ come in the room. He comes in the room and he takes her hand she's laying on her back and he takes her right hand and he gets on his knees and he begins to pray for her. On his knees, praying for her. I almost fell off my chair and I told her, I said, Jesus is here. He's praying for you. He's, get, he's holding your hand. And then he stood up and he took a needle and a thread and he, he sewed up her soul. She had two wounds in her soul. He sewed them up. And uh, it's amazing. That was the first time I ever saw him. He's so good. You know, he sends encouragement when you need it. So yesterday,
I got a birthday card in the mail. <laughs> it was a day late, but it was from my brother in prison. You can see. He sent it on the 22nd, and I received it on the 26th. And I want to show it to you because... Look. All of his Christian friends in the prison that he is fellowshipping with, he started a Bible study. They, they signed this card for me. I want to read it to you because it blessed me so much yesterday. So it says, Gieta, may you be blessed, favored, comforted on your birthday. Get up. We win victorious over some of the giant enemies in our lives. We are defeated by some of the smaller temptations that come into our lives. We have to fresh up our courage and faithfully stand against all the giants we face each and each day, big or small. God bless you, Yetta. Stay encouraged. Your brother in Christ, Roger. Yetta. And we know that God causes all things. Look at, he wrote it in calligraphy right here. Isn't that beautiful? All things to work together for good to those who love God and are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Happy birthday. I can't really read his name. It says Sven's Sully. That means they room together. Yet, uh, <clears throat> and this is from my brother. I hope and pray that this card blesses you. You already know how I feel about you, underlined I. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is awesome and mighty and loves us with an everlasting love. Your little brother, Sven. Your little bro, Sven, as we said. Happy birthday. We won't be shaken. September 25th, 2019. Trust God. Today is all about you, so enjoy and have a great birthday. And here he wrote, you have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Psalms 30, 11. And then he wrote me a letter. Here's my letter. Yeda, September 22nd, 2019. My celly was in the Army Special Forces. He said there is something called a QRF, Quick Reaction Force. That's what we are. I'm sending this stamp with a medal of honor for you. This is it. Medal of honor for you. With QRF, oops, QRF written on the back. Let it be a symbol of my appreciation to you of your unconditional love and lasting unwavering faithfulness. Hold it close to your heart and know that I am always with you in truth and spirit. May God richly bless you and uphold you with his everlasting love and gentle mercy. Keep on fighting the good fight. You have taught me much, and I love you for that. You are one of God's priceless treasures. With much love, your brother Sven, and then he puts all of his names down, and I'll read you the meaning of his name. I'll do that because he also called me, I don't know if it was my, on my birthday, I think it was the day before. It was on the day before, it was on the day before. Okay, he said Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, that's putting on the armor of God. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh. He wrote this on September 22nd. He wrote this on September 22nd, see? Look at this, look at this, this is so cool. See, he called me on September 24th. He called me in the morning, we talked, and he called me back in the afternoon. He says, yeah, I'm leaving this place. I'm, I'm moving tomorrow. So on my birthday, he moved to a different, it's the last stop before he's released after 23 years, 20 more weeks. Well, when he called me in the afternoon, the Lord gave me a vision. 
I'm going to read it to you. This is Sven called today. I had a vision. I saw you, Sven, standing, and you had this shield. I was telling him as I had the vision over the phone. But I wrote it down as I wanted to send it to him so he could keep it. I saw you, Sven, standing, and you had this shield. It went from your nose down to below your waist. It was silver, like a half inch thick, and I knew it was really heavy. It was black in the front, but I could see already you have deflected many deadly arrows because, of, because the silver was showing through. In your right hand, you held a javelin. It was a stake in the ground as you stood there. Then I saw you have these shoes on that are thin suede, kind of like Robin Hood in the movie. Okay. This is funny, but that day I was wearing these shoes. Look, these shoes, I had those on, but Sven's shoes in, in the vision were like taller, a little taller. And you know, they fit like a glove on his foot. Okay. It was a stake in the ground as you stood there. Then I saw you have these shoes on that are thin suede, kind of like Robin Hood in the movie. And it's funny that God used Robin Hood because Sven was in there for, you know, robbery and stealing and things. So kind of like Robin Hood in the movie, the top of them were six to eight inches in the ground, I put. It's not in the ground, it's from the ground. Anyway, they fit like a glove. You said that it's so you can run fast. And then I realized to throw a javelin, you have to be running. And then I saw you had a leather string tied around your waist made from suede as well. It, like this string, see the string? The string around his waist was made of this. And it looked like there was a pouch on one side and I didn't know if there was anything in it. And then I zoomed in, just like in the vision you zoom in and I could tell he also had a belt on. Okay, so he's wearing the belt of truth. And then when I zoomed in, I saw you also had on a belt. So the re revelation came, this is a slingshot. That was a slingshot around his waist. And on your head was a, a laurel. Uh, it's like a crown. But at first I thought it was flowers, but then when it was on his head, it was a real thin gold kind of a crown. And uh, it was an awesome vision, Sven. Okay, now I'm going to tell you the meaning of his name. Sven means young warrior. We just found that out together. And then his middle name, name means a head. And he's got two middle names because my dad wanted to give him two middle names for some reason. Okay, we all have one of these middle names and it means twigs. And my nickname as a kid was Twiggy. So, okay. It was an awesome vision, Sven, young warrior, A, his middle second name is Ahead, his next name is Twigs, Scrub, or Brushwood, and then the last name, our last name, means hailing through the woods. That means you're hauling something through the woods. That's so amazing. Okay, this vision was confirmed today. Um, it was the same day that I had the vision on the 24th, which was my granddaughter's and my son's birthday, they share a birthday together. They were both born, the, well, David was born the day before my 30th birthday and my granddaughter was born on, on David's birthday when he was 29. Okay, so David, David called and David was the one that slew Goliath with a slingshot, right? And then Ingrid called me, it was her birthday I had texted her in the morning and she, they were going to call me at night because they were busy all day. And when she called me, she had this small cardboard crown that they had made for her for her birthday. And she said, Grandma, look at my crown. And she put a crown on her head. Oh, it's so sweet. And it was both of their birthdays together. So both of these things go together. And uh, so God confirmed the vision of Sven. And that was a real blessing to me. And 
So that was my little bit of encouragement <laughs> in a hard, 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 hard. You know, it's not easy giving warnings because most of the time you get attacked afterwards. You know, people don't like it. <laughs> people don't like getting warnings. But it's not me giving them. I don't come to them with judgment or anything. I just... So I need to get uh, back to what we were doing. I'm going to stop this video. I just wanted to um, I don't know. I'm blabbering I guess but uh, I'll just title this one another message for my brother and then I'll start reading the journal again. Just remember that when I read the journals, I'm presenting evidence. It's going to be like we're in a courtroom, okay? These are the words from the Lord. I'm going to just present them all to you. You can start at the beginning and watch to the end. And then uh, just receive them. Okay? Okay. That's it. Okay, bye.